Hi, Odyssey fans. I'm Bob, producer of the Adventures in Odyssey Club. And I'm Jesse, editor of Focus on the Family Clubhouse magazine. Today, we're continuing our celebration of the 30th anniversary of Adventures in Odyssey. Happy birthday, Odyssey. You know, 30 years is a long time. Believe it or not, Bob, 30 years ago, I was 30 years younger. And so were our listeners. Well, actually, no, Jesse, not all of them. Many of our listeners weren't even born 30 years ago. Ah, well, that's a good point, Bob, but their parents might have listened to Odyssey. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love meeting those families when they come to Colorado Springs, and parents who are now sharing our show with the next generation. You know, wouldn't it be great if we could hear from all of our fans of all those generations right now? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's too bad we don't have a, a video montage of mm. some of our fans who sent us birthday wishes. Yeah, something like that would be really great. Happy 30th birthday, Adventures in Odyssey! Hey everybody, it's Arista from the Aero Wiki Podcast, wishing Adventures in Odyssey a happy 30th birthday. Hi, this is Amelia from Oregon. I just wanted to wish Focus on the Family and Adventures in Odyssey a very, very happy birthday. Hey Adventures in Odyssey, this is Austin from Oklahoma. I just want to say happy birthday to you. So happy birthday, Adventures in Odyssey. Love you guys, bye! Happy birthday, Adventures in Odyssey. Hi, I'm Brittany from Illinois, and I want to wish a very happy birthday to the Adventures in Odyssey team. Happy birthday, Adventures in Odyssey! Happy birthday, Odyssey! Happy birthday, Odyssey! Happy 30th birthday, AIO! Happy birthday, Adventures in Odyssey! Congratulations! Happy birthday, Odyssey! It's your biggest fan, Elisha from Minnesota. Happy birthday, Adventures in Odyssey! And from all your friends here in Kentucky. Happy 30th birthday, and I listen to your audio dramas all the time. Hi, I'm Lauren from Pennsylvania, and I want to wish Odyssey a very happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Adventures in Odyssey. Odyssey. This is for the White family in San Antonio, Texas. Odyssey team, this is Naomi from the Odyssey Nerds blog that I run. I just wanted to wish you guys a happy birthday. Today is your birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Hi, it's Sophia from Michigan. Just wanted to wish Adventures in Odyssey a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Adventures in Odyssey. We're the Savage Sisters from Iowa. Hello, Adventures in Odyssey. Happy 30th birthday. Happy 30th birthday, Whitson.org. My mom and my grandmother and I watch Whit listen to Whitson every night, and we love it. Love it. Love it. Wow, I guess we did have a montage after all. Thanks to everyone who sent in a birthday message, whether it was a video, card, or email. Fans like you are the reason we do this show. Yeah, you know, our listeners are the best. And Bob, you got to meet a bunch of our fans when you went on the Focus on the Family Cruise last November. Oh, I sure did, Jesse. What a celebration that was. It was so much fun seeing the cast, crew, and fans of Odyssey interacting. Uh, you know, I think it's time for another... Did you know? Did you know that the Focus Cruise sold out months ahead of time? And did you know that we had the most kids ever aboard a Disney cruise ship? And did you know that we had the longest autograph lines ever on a Disney cruise line? And did you know that a salad fork cannot be used as a flotation device? Well, you know it now, and don't you forget it! Oh, that was much better. We wish every Adventures and Odyssey fan could have been on the cruise, but don't worry, our team brought some cameras, and now we're ready to give you a small glimpse of what happened during the Odyssey events on the ship. It'll be just like I was there. Uh, you were there, Bob. All oh, right.
off. Can I just break for one second and say one thing? Because. No. <laughs> I've been there 30 years and I've been saying hi this is Chris for 30 years a lot of you guys have had me in your house and on vacations with you and I've been part of your world and I personally want to say thank you to all of you yeah. for that yeah. and you guys um, <laughs> and you the shows are so well written and the stories are so strong you know that, uh, that you don't really have to do much to make them great because they're already great but I always just think it's nice to do the unexpected, you know, so basically I will say it as it's written the first time, and then the second time we do it, I say it kind of like it's written, and then the third time we say it, I say something totally weird and totally unexpected, and if I make Katie or Chris laugh, I know it's good. So, if you have a dream, go after your dream, because yes. look, she's a living example of making your yeah. dream happen, and if she did it, and we did it, you guys can do it too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So believe yeah. that. Amazing, Bob. You know, but what about the big event? The big Adventures in Odyssey live show featuring the big cast. That was so exciting. And big. Indeed. We did it Wednesday night, a few days into the cruise, and we had two of them because it was so big. In fact, it was too big. The second show was so packed that we had to open a second theater. Wow, that is big. Well, we don't have time to watch the entire live show right now, but let's see a portion of it. Here we go. Hi, welcome to Adventures in Odyssey. Hello, this is Chris. Welcome to the Grand Adventures in Odyssey. Today I'm with Dr. Julie Schnitzelwalker in his wonderful laboratory. Uh, studio, studio. Hello, everyone. Hello. my interest in the wonders of science for the wonders of the discoveries that I have just made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I call it oral narrative sequencing and response mm, Wow, well, well, what is that? Well, did you speak in terms that perhaps you might understand, Chris? It is the telling of stories through the use of sound. Yeah. You mean are you drama? Ooh, audio drama, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to write that one down. That's good, I'll use that. Wow. <laughs> Dr. Hayes. Allow me to explain how it works so that you will be sufficiently awestruck by my genius. First, we begin with a writer. I have one right here I recently acquired. It's just right there. It's uh, a... <laughs> acquire? Yeah, yeah. I'm in a bookshop cafe, you see. Uh, yeah. How did you acquire it? Well, actually, a double espresso raspberry white chocolate mocha at the end of a long shtick. I tell you, it works every time. Now, he creates the story and writes down what the actors say and do. That's what he does. That's it. Hey, that's it. Thank you very much. Let's get rid of the writer. Let's hear from the writer right here. <laughs> now, once the script is written, the actors come to a studio like this, and I tell them what to do. Their ah. voices are recorded and sound affected and music sized and best of all, I release my program on a device I have just created. Are you ready? It's called, here it comes, a cassette tape, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, it's, my, it's, great. it's great, but there's one problem. Hey, what that? <laughs> it's already been done. <laughs> no, it can't be. Oh, yeah. Yes, it has. In fact, there's an audio drama that's been ready for 30 years now with over 830 episodes. So it's impossible. Does this, this cheap imitator of mine, brilliant idea, have a name? It's called Adventures in Odyssey. Uh -huh. Oh, hi.
Hi there. My name is John Avery Whitaker, but most folks call me Whit, and this is Odyssey. My friends and I are about to set off for a time of wonder and excitement. You want to come along? Why don't you get the whole family together and join us for another exciting adventure in Odyssey? Polly! Polly! Well, can I do it for you? Well, 
Chloe, you've been doing some amateur acting at the Harlequin Theater. Emphasis on amateur. <laughs> Why? Well, well, would you help me show Grace in here what it's like to do voice acting? Oh, sure. What do you mean? All right. I want you to say this line. Uh, Larry Lonergan lifted lazy loji laconic Louis languid lipid linguini. Ah, got it. Okay. Larry Lonergan lifted lazy loji laconic Louis languid lipid linguini. Okay, great. Now, do it in the voice of an announcer, please. Oh, okay. an announcer, eh? Larry Lonergan lifted lazy loji laconic Louis languid lipid linguini. <laughs> Plate of linguine in your hand. Okay. Ooh. This, this will be hot. Hot. Larry Lonergan lifted lazy logi laconic Louis languid lifted linguine. <laughs> Great. Okay. Again. But now you're carrying the hot plate of linguine up a steep rocky hill. Oh yeah. <laughs> up, up a steep rocky hill with that hot plate. You can do oh, it. Larry Lonergan lifted lazy loji laconic Louis Michael lifted liquid Okay, now I want you to do it with a limp. <laughs> a limp, huh? Okay, by the way, right foot or limp? No, 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 no. We get the idea, Connie. No, no. Thanks. Thanks. I'll see you guys around. Hi, Jason. Now we won't put you through these kinds of things, Grace. <laughs> Even if you do, I'm in. Well, that's excellent. All right. Uh, what's next, honey? Sound effects, which Eugene is supposed to handle. Uh, 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 correction, which Eugene is handling. Oh, good. Uh, you see, uh, with the assistance of Mr. Deal, manager of the audiovisual unit at Campbell College. Uh, how do we fare, Mr. Deal? I fare very well. Thank you, Mr. Martin. And I believe I have everything ready. Uh, take a listen to this. Uh, who's grunting? 
Oh, I was just getting into it, Connie. <laughs> oh, hey, Dale. What's with the camera phone? Oh, I'm uh, live streaming. Oh, you know they have medicine for that now? <laughs> wow, that thing is dangerous. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, you should go get the packages, Wooten. Oh, good idea, Mr. John Avery Whitaker. <laughs> Jules is supposed to be helping me, but I don't know where she is. Hey, Jules! I'm here, Connie. What? Where? Oh. Where are you? Uh, in the stage with the Westcott girls. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't you mean on the stage? <laughs> no. In. What? In? Uh, uh, well, it's a hydraulic floor that Jason and Eugene designed. It lifts the performers up from under the stage. But but we, we need to test it. Where, where's Jason again? Uh, does anyone know where Jason went? Jason? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Deal is attempting to program all of our sound effects and music for the upcoming sketches. Oh. Uh, Oh, there he is, Jason! Uh, what is it, Dad? Well, we want to test the lift that brings Jules and the Westcott girls on stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Yeah, I've got it all rigged up for remote control. All it takes is just the push of a button. Oh, that's oh. great. Hit it, girls! You like a slice of apple pie? Just one look and my Awesome. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that was probably the first time in history that a family radio drama was recorded live at sea. I don't think I can argue with that. And if you want to see even more of what went on during the cruise, check out the Adventures in Odyssey Club. We have more video there, including a whole sketch about Thanksgiving at Connie's house. So I know that everybody's been asking, could there be another cruise on the horizon? Well, you just never know, Jess. I'm sure for our fans, well, they would love it. But in the meantime, I can't wait to see what else happens during this 30th birthday year. You never know what's going to happen when you have an Adventures in Odyssey. But that's all for this edition of the official Adventures in Odyssey podcast, a presentation of Focus on the Family. Our website is witsend.org slash podcast. You can join the club at aioclub.org, or you can call us at 1-800-A-FAMILY. I'm Bob. And I'm Jesse, reminding you that with God in your life, every day is an adventure.